Good day to you. Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti -neckery. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, huh. but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No! I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon. But as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and a bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death or the cesspit's full. Jesus, it's not as shallow as it looks. My respects to you. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. Would they come here to drink? Maybe. But I won't aid you in any mischief. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink? Or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern. But they raised such a commotion, I went and complained. And the town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that, Doc. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. You don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? I've not got the slightest inkling. I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. You haven't heard talk of any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things, but I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? 
Aye, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye, or them that's not in Bailiff's good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. Thank you, innkeeper. Not at all. Would you like something to eat or drink? I've heard it's not quite as lively here as it once was. Well, I wouldn't say that. Guests are always making merry when there's a drink to be had. That's not quite what I meant. I'd heard there were some stable boys staying here for a long while looking for work. But it took too long and they took to causing trouble. True, but that's nothing new. No. The thing is, there's not many wagons coming through at all. Folk are afraid to travel far in case they get done in by some cutthroats or, God forbid, have their wagons requisitioned by some army. So there are fewer travellers. And some of them must be a little unsavoury. I take anyone who turns up. They come one day and leave the next. Maybe with someone else. Past few weeks I've only had trouble with one who skipped off without paying. He just vanished, without a word. Well, he said he lost all his silver to the miller. And he had to go and see him about something. Only he never came back. Left all his belongings here. Do you still have them? Of course not. I sold them all a few days later when he didn't come back. The buyer's gone now too, before you ask. But there wasn't much there in any case. The seller didn't even cover his bill. Good day to you. What do you need? Tanner. I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening, shouting and bellowing there till nightfall, and then they leave, probably to get drunk. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? Aye, they knocked the stuffing right out of me. And nobody does a thing about it? I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. God be with you. I heard that someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? No, but I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you? Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss, after he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place, ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children.
God be with you, good sir. I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. Uh, that's not what I meant, but thanks. Why did you thrash the tanner? Because he came by one day, lost his money, and then started on about how we cheated him and ought to give him back his coin. He was a right pest. He told me that you jumped him when he asked you to stop making a racket behind his house. Well, that's sort of true. But he didn't start complaining until he lost his money. Before that, it didn't bother him. I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite... Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse, too, if you know your business. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First, you have to beat Weed. He's that not-too-dangerous-looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you? That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humours. <laughs> the tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night. And I thought I might convince you to stop. So all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, whelp. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! <laughs> of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough, and if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat we and those three clowns. And then I'll have time for you. Got it? Let's do it. Let's go. This won't take long.
Let's fight. You look pretty good. But I'm betting it was just luck. We'll see. My respects to you. Let's fight. That wasn't bad, but now we'll take it up a notch. Stealing. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat fine. Enough. What impertinence is this? Do you really want me to lose my temper? If that's how you want it, you idiot. I'm certainly not afraid of you. Damn it. Here's your coin then. You've paid for your crimes. I hope you've learned your lesson. And hand me over those stolen goods. Christ almighty, you reek! Let's fight! That wasn't bad, but let's see how you do with me. I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expected it. Oh, 
That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men, and I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks. I'll think about it. You want to have a go? Why? Don't fight. Look here, lads. I hope I won't be seeing you around here again. Go and find some other place for your games. All right, all right. We'll go. But if you want to fight again, you're always welcome. I bet you'll come off worse next time. What are you loitering here for? Get lost! I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you. 
You'll have a quiet evening tonight. God bless you, lad. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. Unlike that miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word. Thank <laughs> you.